you've got questions, but they're bigger than which cell phone provider is the best or who has the fastest internet or which insurance company makes the funniest commercials. I mean, sure, you want to know what time your kid's soccer game is and you want to know what color shirt she's supposed to wear. And of course you want to know how come Ryan Reynolds never ages, but your real questions, they're deeper than that. Remember when you knew who to trust. Remember when you first fell in love. Remember when you felt stronger and you could run further and you had that tight knit circle of friends who you could share anything with. I, Cause I think there was a time when life was great and you looked ahead and it seemed like life's only gonna get greater. And now here you are and you're looking back and you're thinking, is my best life behind me? And that takes us here to Google. When I was a kid, I looked things up in the dictionary Maybe an encyclopedia, and if I had time, I'd ride my bike to the library, and now the dictionary, the encyclopedia, the library, it's all right here. You've got questions, Google has answers. You know, there's some sites that take uh, analytics of what Google users ask the most. Do you want to know what the world wants to know? Some top questions people type into Google. What is love? Who am I? Does he like me? Why am I so tired? <laughs> How to lose weight? Can you ever forgive me? Can we just talk? Are we there yet? I'm living my best life. Made a couple M's with my best friends, turned all my L's into lessons. That's Chance the Rapper, Cardi B, their song, Best Life. A couple months earlier, Wiz Khalifa had a song with the exact same name. And on Instagram, there's a hashtag, hashtag live your best life. It's clocked more than four and a half million posts and climbing. Huffington Post has an entire section dedicated to living your best life. Live Your Best Life was even a book. It was a collection of all the articles from Oprah's magazine. But what do we mean by that? What do we mean living your best life? Because I want to know how to achieve it. And I want to know how come it feels like everybody else knows how to live it but me. Well, spoiler alert, they don't. Because if you actually scroll through the hashtag live your best life, what you're going to see is pictures of mansions, cocktails, bikinis, beaches, flowers, avocados, about a thousand yoga poses, and even more cups of coffee. Apparently we all think that drinking a kale smoothie is all that life has to offer. And before that, before it was live your best life, it was live the life you love, love the life you live. And before that, it was love what you do and you'll never work a day in your life. And it's not just Instagram, it's not just Google, there's hundreds of books printed every year to make sure that you take the bull by the horns and you milk life for all it's worth. But at the end of the day, and you just ran three miles this morning and you drank that green smoothie, you finally achieved that difficult one-arm balance, you got every kid's homework done and you tucked them all into bed, and you flop down on the couch and you ask yourself, are you really living your best life? Are all your questions answered? What is love? Who am I? Does he like me? Why am I so tired? How do I lose weight? Can you ever forgive me? Can we just talk? Are we there yet? What about church? Church also promises you a best life, doesn't it? And to be honest, sometimes church sounds just like another talk show or another self-help book or another lucky charm or podcast. I want to read you some Bible verses, highly quoted Bible verses. Matthew 5, rejoice and be glad for your reward in heaven is great. Matthew 21, whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. Acts 2, Day by day, continuing with one mind in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, the disciples were taking their meals together with gladness and sincerity of heart. Psalm 37, take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. 1 Peter 4, for each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's very grace. And John 10:10, 10, 10, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. You know, that last one, that's something that Jesus said, not Oprah, not Jay Shetty, not Joel Osteen. Jesus said the reason that he came was not just to give you life, but to give you your best life, an abundant life. That word abundantly, it's the Greek word parisos. Peri means near, but when you say parisos, it means beyond. It means exceeding, it means above, it means superior, it means extraordinary, it means remarkable, it means excellent. Friends, we're living in a world where flashing screens and talking heads are trying to give you advice. Other broken people who are no better than us, they are writing books and they are trying to tell you how to live. But lately, 
your internal alarm has been ringing off the hook because your questions are still not answered. What is love? Why am I tired? Is this all there is or am I there yet? Friends, we are doing too much. We are stretched too much. We are stressed too much. And the average life expectancy of people in the US is 78. 78 for me at 52, that's only 26 more years. Am I gonna spend the next 26 years of my life reading self-help books and listening to podcasts and riding a stationary bike that doesn't go anywhere? Am I there yet? I wanna read those same verses from the Bible to you again, and this time I wanna add a promise that God wants you to claim. Matthew 5, rejoice and be glad for your reward in heaven is great. God wants to give you greater joy than you can imagine. Matthew 21, Whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. God wants to increase your faith. John 10, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. God wants to give you health and rest. Acts 2, day by day, continuing with one mind in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, they were taking their meals together with gladness and sincerity of heart. God wants you to build dynamic and lasting relationships. Psalm 37, Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. God wants to shower you with true riches. 1 Peter 4, as each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. God wants you to impact your world. Are you? What do you think? Are you living your best life? Because your best life is the one that God has planned for you, the life your creator has planned for you, the life your father has has planned for you. At Walden Church, for the next several weeks, we're going to unlock those secrets to those verses and the secret to living your best life. I hope you join us.